Welcome to 2K Sports. We have the NBA coming up. Great to have you with us. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. We've got the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls. So Atlanta will get the first possession. Now Atlanta starting five. Here's Wilkins. Pass to Whitman. Here's Rivers. Let's a three fly. Rebounded by Pippen. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Outstanding finishing there by Jordan. Terrific at getting inside and powering the flush down. Here's Rivers. Poke loose. Pass to Wilkins. Clock at six. From deep. Rivers shot is off. Here are the Bulls with the ball. With the drive. Hip in, no good. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. Here's Whitman. Here's Willis. Tipped. And a fast break now for the Bulls. And the basket by Pippen. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Here's Rivers. Almost two minutes into the first here. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. That'll put some fear into the shooters, and he made sure to do it early, too. Here's Harper. Pass to Jordan. Here's Pippen. Back to Jordan. Six to shoot. Atlanta with a rebound. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Here's Rollins. On the wing, Rivers. Pass to Wilkins. Here's Whitman. Here's Rivers. And he makes it. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Harper. Pass to Jordan. From behind the arc. Knocks down the triple. Jordan's got his second bucket of the night. Jordan really confident rising up from deep. When he's in rhythm, he sinks these outside jumpers. Here's Rollins. Here's Rivers. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see. Ball moving. Pass to Rodman. Here's Longley. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Pulls it in from the elbow. No good. A bit long that time. Very surprising that he came away empty there. Especially given room to operate. Here's Jordan. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. Jordan's got seven points in the game. The Hawks trailing. Here's Rivers. Pass to Rollins. Here's Willis. Here's Rivers. Launches a three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Pippen. And again, it's the 
pulls from deep. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to Rollins. Back to Rivers. It's not going to go for him. Now Chicago takes it the other way. To the middle. Rodman, shot is good. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. Is that simple? Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Here's Wilkins. The Bulls making their last shot. Here's Harper. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Now here's Jordan. Pass to Harper. Here's Pippen. Into the lane. Robin. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Shooting two. And he makes a first. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. They haven't looked like themselves the last few possessions. They haven't. This is when they really need to be patient and get a clean look. Dennis Rodman. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Atlanta, Dominique Wilkins. Taking two shots. First one falls. And so he hits both. Chicago leading. Pass to Pippen. To the inside. Shoots a fadeaway. And <laughs> their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Here's Rivers. Fires from the corner. Misses off the right iron. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Here's Harper. And the Bulls tack on two more. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point defensively, you have to take something away. Here's Wilkins. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. And now the Bulls in transition. Pass to Pippen. Here's Longley. With the fadeaway. Count that one. And the Bulls lead by 15. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat.
both, both teams changing it up here. Here's Webb. Pass to Wilkins. And that one is stuffed right through. There are very few guys in this league who make dunking a true art form. Neek is one of those guys. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. <laughs> Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Now here's Jordan. He's got nine. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Wilkins. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Chicago, Michael Jordan. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, when you watch MJ, Michael Jordan, the championship mentality is obvious. He gives his team everything he has to win games, and then some. And both free throws good for Jordan. Here's Webb. Pass to Wilkins. Over Jordan. Wilkins can't hit. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Now here's Jordan. 11 points in the game. And they'll get another chance. Here's Kerr. Pass to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Second chance effort. And slam dunk by Jordan. I love how Jordan uses his jumping ability on the offensive boards. I mean, this guy just does not give up. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. It's hauled in by Kerr. Down low. Here's Pippen. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. They've shown so much energy way from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punch blazing. Here's Carr. Pass to Webb. And it comes off the front of the rim. Can't blame them. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Here's Pippen. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. He's got nine. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it all. Time, Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. He's coming out of the court. Come on. Get loud for your level board. Here's Livingston looking for his first basket still in this one. 
Just five to shoot. Here's Wilkins. Oh, no good. The dry spell continues. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Boy, he's really been on a roll this quarter. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Here's Webb. Pass to Carr. Here's Webb. Here's the floater. Two minutes remaining. Here's Livingston. Two minutes. That shot off the mark. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Inside. Here's Kerr. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Shot's good by Kukoc. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Wilkins. Here's Webb. Pass to Livingston. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the ball out of play. The Bulls will have it. Unforced turnovers. What will drive your coach insane? So both teams making some changes here. A minute 20 left to play in the first. Now Jordan. He's got 16. Pass to Kerr. The three. An <laughs> excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Really makes them a hard team to guard because they space you out so well. Here's Webb. Here's Hastings. No good. And they can't put it into the drought. 43 seconds left in the first quarter here. Here's Kukoc. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. Here's Wilkins. Covered by Jordan. Pass to Webb. 20 seconds left in the first. The Hawks need to get one up here. Here's Wilkins. Covered by Jordan. Wilkins can't hit. Here's Kerr. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And that's it for the first quarter in what has been a very lopsided game. It's the Bulls just dominating this one. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. It's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. Guys, we've seen a confident-looking Bulls team out there. Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. So it's Chicago now. All right, this is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second. Here's Simpkins. Pass to Kerr. To the paint. Here's Jordan. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Here's Livingston. Here's Wilkins. Covered by Jordan. Looking to get it going. Wilkins can't hit. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Who coach? And again, it's Chicago with a three. What about the shot selection of Tony Kukoc, a threat to sink the three ball? We got to chase him off of that line. Pass to Wilkins. Nails it from Bobby beyond the arc. Wilkins. Seven points in the game. Three. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. Here's Kukoc. 
Five points in the game. It's good. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle and at their offensive end. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Kerr. That one's wide left. Here's Wilkins. And it's in there. Dominique. Whatever the defense Wilkins. gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Jordan with it. He's got 18. Out to the right wing. Pass to Wilkins. Here's Carr. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Webb. Out to the right wing. Another shot. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Hawks, Spud Webb. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both teams will make substitutions. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. That's tipped. And a fast break now for the Hawks. Not going to go that time. And here are the Bulls now. Here's Harper. Here's Bushler. It's hauled in by Rollins. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the second quarter. Kept alive. And another shot. Willis. Great positioning on the putback. Yeah, the strength of Kevin Willis really impressive. And he does a nice job positioning for offensive rebounds. Here's Harper. Pass to Rodman. Here's Kukoc. The Bulls with another miss. On the wing, Rivers. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. I always love the hard work on the glass. Just great activity. Here's Harper. He takes it in. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. On the push, here comes Atlanta. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, the players on two-way contracts getting expanded opportunities last season after the league eliminated the 50-game cap and permitted them to take part in the playoffs. The pandemic played a role, but guys, teams are continuing to find contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Allie. Thanks. Free Rollins. One shot. Bushler. 
Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Harper. Here's Kukoc. He's got seven. Four on the clock. Here's Rodman. Second shot opportunity. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Atlanta calls timeout. He's forcing shots offensively, hurting his team in the process. He needs to trust his teammates more. Rivers. Pass to Webb. Here's Willis. Clock at six. Rivers. Good. Rivers has got six points. Well, they're on the right path now, but still in a pretty big hole. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. And so here is Chicago. The Hawks getting their last shot to go. Here's Webb. Takes it inside. Making people around him better. One of the things Doc is best known for. Doc Rivers, that is. Here's Pippen. The rebound by Willis. Here's Rivers. He has six. Here's Webb. Just off on that shot. Just one for seven in the game. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. And no good. And it's Chicago the other way. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. And the shot goes. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Here's Rivers. Rodman with a rebound. It's been that kind of quarter for him. The shot has just been unreliable. Pass to Bushler. Here's Pippen. Five on the clock. The Bulls need to get off a shot. Rodman's shot is good. And Scottie Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. Boy, this Hawks squad is struggling. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Webb. Looking to end this cold spell. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Yeah, it's hard to not be captivated by the little fella, Spud Webb. Five foot seven inches, but he got a 42 inch vertical bounce. He's undersized for a four, but his hops level the playing field. Down low. Back to Rivers. Pass to Webb. Here's Rivers. Six points for him. Here's Webb. Oh, he tries a three. Longley with a rebound. Here's Bushler. 
He takes it in. Pass to Harper. Rebounded by the Hawks. To the inside, Whitman. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Bushler. And it's rejected. Here's Pippen to the wing, right side. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Just imagine if he was shooting better. The lead would be even bigger. Here's Rivers. Pass to Rollins. Harper pulls it in. Here's Pippen. Here's Bushler. Here's Pippen. He's got nine. Oh, he used the shot fake to create the angle, but he couldn't get it to fall. If they're going to go on a run, Grant, there's no better time than right now. You're so right, B.A. I think they definitely expected a closer game than this. The shot by Webb, no good. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. Pass to Harper. 141 left in the first half of this game. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. Jordan's checked in for Chicago. Forty-one left in the first half. Six on the shot clock. Here's Pippen. And he can't bank that one in. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with it. Here's Rodman. Fader on the way. Offensive rebound. Longley. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. The line and there's the foul goals. against Atlanta. Long All right, guys, some stats two here. Shot. The scoring breakdown for Chicago. Hey, guys, they're passing the ball very efficiently here in the first half. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the Take fast break, break transition break. opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. And the first one at the line is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And so he makes both from the line. 105 left in the second. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Back to Rivers. Just five on the clock. Pass to Hastings. From deep three-point range. Can't get it to drop. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 20. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. Here's Hastings. Rodman with a rebound. And here's Jordan. 20 points for him to the middle. Longley, that's good. He has six. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Here's Wilkins. 
And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Nice work defensively. Meeting him up top and forcing the miss. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. It's the Bulls running away with this one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Chicago holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? They're going right to the rim, finishing every chance they get. The D was helpless trying to stop them and beating them inside. I love the relentlessness and the aggressive style. This is how you impose your will on another team. And Shaq, how about what you saw from the Hawks? Well, they need to change their strategy. We can see that. Jack and I three point is left and right. Many of them contested from deep range. Just as the way to play basketball, goes. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Now here's Jordan, tightly guarded, inside. Pass to Longley. Fades and shoots. The rebound by the Hawks. And I don't understand. Why is he going to the fadeaway? Just go straight up with it. And for the Hawks. Here's Rivers. Here's Rollins. From nine feet out, Harper pulls it in. It wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. And for Chicago, drops in the layup for two. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Pass to Wilkins. About a minute played here in the second half. Here's Rivers. Five to shoot. Oh, it's stolen. Here's Harper. Fires the three. Wilkins with a rebound. Pass to Rivers. Here's Whitman. Here's Wilkins. Set it up with a fake, but it's offline. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Here's Rivers. Following the bucket by the Bulls. Wilkins, good. Dominique. 12 points Wilkins. for him. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Over to the wing. Here's Pippen. He's got 11. Just five on the clock. They shoot again! And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Chicago, Dennis Rodman taking two shots. And he can't get the first one. The Bulls making a switch here. <laughs> 
And he ends up missing both free throws. And it's Atlanta's ball. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's Rivers. He's got six. Comes up empty down low. Pass to Rodman. Now here's Jordan. Here's Harper. It's rebounded by Rivers. Here's Whitman, covered by Jordan. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. And Harper gets it to go. Well, it's good to see Jordan focus on distributing the ball some. I mean, an all-around talent, one of the greatest ever, who does everything for this team. Here's Wilkins. 12 points for him. And it's good as he snugs it right Wilkins. through the net. 14 points for him. So effective from mid-range. He's never questioned about taking that shot. Pass to Pippen. Tries to break his ice. Gets a hand on it. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. And great instincts, too, guys. Anticipating where the miss was going. Here's Wilkins. 14 points for him. Not his best night and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Pass to Pippen. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. To the left wing. In low. And it's Willis missing. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Here's Pippen. 13 points in the game. Doesn't go that time. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Rivers. He's got six. Pass to Willis. Here's Rollins. The ball's knocked loose. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. for the dunk and the high flying antics of Jordan simply awesome one of the best dunkers this game has ever seen how about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block <laughs> what a play I mean that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence here's Rivers pass to Rollins knocked loose And he can't get that one. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Rivers. Covered by Jordan. Shot to end the cold streak. Here's Rollins. Back to Rivers. Six to shoot. Pass to Wilkins. To the middle. Here's Jordan. Slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, Pippen, a fantastic defender and knows when to pounce on passing lanes to come up with the steals. Watch out. Here's Wilkins. Here's Rivers. They get the rebound. Throws it up high, up high, and down it goes on the lob. Everyone loves the alley-oop play, B.A. Yep, one of the prettiest in basketball. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. Here's Simpkins. Here's Harper. Shot clock at six. That one, no good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. 
Here's Rivers. He's got six. Pass to Wilkins. Here's Whitman, covered by Jordan. Here's Rivers. Takes a 13-footer. Chicago grabs the miss. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Here's Pippen. 13 points in the game. And the layup is good off the glass. 15 points in the game. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Pass to Rollins. Here's Wilkins. There's the three. The shot off that time. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. To the inside. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Pass to Wilkins. From 11 feet away. He can't get that one to fall. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Jordan. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Jordan's got six in the quarter. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Here's Rivers. He's got six. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Pass to Wilkins. Out to the right wing. Here's Willis. Oh, no good again that time. And now the Bulls in transition. Here's Harper. Give him eight. Here's Rodman. Here's Pippen. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Bulls? I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Another thing they've done tonight well is share the ball. So many of their points have come off of um, good crisp passes. Atlanta with the ball. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Hastings. No good there. Off the double clutch. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good shot. Here's Webb. He has six. To the wing on the left. Here's Wilkins. Pass to Webb. Shot clock at five. Here's Levingston. A shot to stop the run. Rebounded by Pippen. 103 left in the third quarter. Kukoc, no good. Here's Levingston. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Shooting for Atlanta, Cliff Levingston at the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. The Bulls making a switch here.
So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. Oh, oh that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Here's Wilkins, covered by Jordan. Here's Hastings. And it's off from three-point range. And they recover it. Contact shot is off. Chicago with the ball. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Pass to Kerr. Back to Jordan. Here's Kerr. Fires from deep. And again, in Chicago with a three. Oh, how quickly Kerr gets his shot off. An efficient shooter off the pass, and you can't afford to give him any room to shoot it. And so it's Chicago, making this game a no contest. They poured it on early, and they've never let up. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Fourth quarter, on the floor for the Hawks. Pass to Hastings. And Sally pulls it down. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Right wing. Here's Kerr. Coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA. Grant, as a player, how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an off-season change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in mid-season, it can be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. Here's Levingston. Chicago foul. Bill Wennington. And now That's another look at that mobile foul. one block defensive first performance. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Outside, Brown. Shoots from 14. Rebound by the Bulls. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Pass to Winnington. Fades back. That one off the back iron and out. Here's Levingston. Looking to get back on track. The shot that time, not on target. And it's the Bulls' ball. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Into the lane. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. No question about it. He's very comfortable in the air. Dunks like that, no problem for him. Here's Kukoc. Steve, Steve. Fires from the line. Offensive board. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. Got to work harder on the glass. 
Grant, as someone who played abroad on Team USA, how exciting is it to see how much more international the league has become? It's fantastic, no question. You know, back then we saw so many talented foreign stars playing internationally, but now the best really do all find their way here to the NBA. And so it's Atlanta with it. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. They get it back. Carr goes back up. No good at the rim. Chicago with the ball. Here's Kerr. Here's Wennington. The rebound by Conkak. He tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Pass to Livingston. Outside, Brown. Here's Webb. Driving to the basket. Soft touch off the glass. Well, terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's Wennington. Pass to Bushler. Here's Sally. Just two to shoot. Good coach, no good. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's Livingston. Misses off the left iron. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Here's Kerr. Got a hand on it. Here's Livingston. Pass to Conkak. Here's Webb. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Well, well. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Here's Bushler. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. Here's Kukoc. And it's Webb with a rebound. And You know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him trying to shut the door on this one. Chicago grabs the miss. Trying to get back on track. And he slams it in one-handed. And he just punches home the one-hand finish. Hey, two points the easy way. He'll take those all day long. Here's Webb. Driving in. Ooh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Now that's, that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. So both teams making some changes here. One shot. Well, the NBA has said, we're in a transformational period. We have to earn viewers. Clark, moves like the play-in tournament looking to attract those viewers. Well, you know what, B.I., I like the initiative the NBA has taken there. Clearly, you have to continue to create and innovate and adapt as a league. I think it's smart to try new things, and I think the play-in tournament added a level of excitement, not just with its, new, its newness, but with the competitive nature of those play-in games. So I think it's something that may find its way as part of the regular calendar going forward.
Going inside. And rejected. Out of bounds. Hawks ball as Atlanta keeps possession. Hawks ball. The Bulls making a switch here. Edwards is checked in. James Edwards. Here's Webb. Six on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Adding the stat sheet. Getting the board and the hoop all on one play. Yep, he's earning his coach's appreciation. Hard work on the offensive glass always does that. I mean, his fans will remember the dunk, but the coaches love the rebound. Back to Brown. It's Edwards on the wing. Pass to Kerr. Brown with it. Oh, from deep. The shot misses. Here's Webb. And out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Ball. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? Pass to Bushler. And the NBA and its players taking an active role socially. Grant, talk about what you're seeing now and how it registers with you. Well, you know, it's exciting, it's inspiring, it's patriotic. It's what America is, being able to exercise your voice and helping to form a more perfect union. So that's what it's all about, and I'm excited for the league and its players, and it's inspiring, like I said. Here's Brown. He's off on that one. And Chicago will go the other way with it. Here's Kerr. Good. And Brown gets the assist. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Here's Webb. Here's Conkak. And terrific work on the offensive glass as he picks up the deuce. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. Pass to Brown. Here he goes. And that one drops. Where's the rim protection? That's just too easy for him. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Brown with the steal. Pass to Bushler. Edwards against Brown. Fades. Hauled in by Brown. And the Hawks with possession here. The NBA has a major presence in Africa now, and you were a big part of it making that happen Grant yeah no it's very exciting and to work with the NBA and strategic investors over on the continent in Africa it's not just a great investment but you're also doing the right thing spreading the game sharing the game and giving people on the continent the joy that basketball brings to everyone back to Brown clock at six and he banks in the layup Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Here's Webb. To the paint. Oh, got a piece of it. And the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. On defense, the Bulls. Pass to Hastings. From deep. That shot, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here's Kerr. On the take. Banked it in off the glass. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Here's Webb. 
and featuring Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, and Kevin Garnett. Is the 2020 Hall of Fame class the best ever part? Well, I'd certainly have to go back and look, but there won't be any classes that would be any better. I would say that. I mean, clearly depending on when some of the all-time greats went in and who were part of their classes in the past, but I would be hard-pressed to imagine or be able to state a class that was better than this particular class. 2009 comes to mind. That had Michael Jordan, David Robinson, and John Stockton. That's a pretty good threesome, too. Pass to Hastings. From 13, it's hauled in by the Bulls. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Kerr. Here's Bushler. Now here's Brown. Shot clock at six. Now Edwards shoots over Davis. And that one's long. Brown against Brown. Hastings. And down it goes. Jam that one home. They were totally in sync on that play. Targeted the pass beautifully. Left side, Brown. Pass to Bushler. Here's Brown. Outside Edwards. And Brown, the bucket on the assist from Edwards. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Up top, Brown. Defended by Brown. Pass to Hastings. Blocked! Brown with it. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.